On this video, we're going to do a real live test of a WordPress plugin that's meant to optimize a WordPress site. It's called Berk WP and it says you don't need any technical knowledge. So I've ran the test and we're going to run the test after we install this. So let's go review it right now. What's up everyone? So this is Berk WP and I've already installed this plugin on my WordPress site, but I haven't activated. Currently, this is my page speed and it's doing really well, but the page speed is not as fast as you might think. So it's loading at 1.8 seconds which is not fast for this demo site that I've installed. So it's a full feature landing page. And this is the page speed test for the Google test, right? So it did pretty bad on performance. Now I've installed the plugin, but I haven't activated. I want to do that with you guys so we can actually run the test afterwards and find out if this plugin is actually worth it. Now, before we go through this, let me show you the lifetime deals going on right now, which is Berk WP. If you're interested in this plugin, it's all a lifetime deal right now. And you have a 60 day money back guarantee. So in case you don't like it, just go ahead and refund it. All right now, they say you don't need any technical skills, which we'll test out on this video. So as I mentioned, I haven't installed this plugin and they're also giving us this benchmarks compared to 10 web nitro pack and WP rocket, which I think these guys are pretty hard to beat. I mean, I'm actually using WP rocket right now on my site, my main site. And it's an annual payment. So this, if this promised me getting those speed speed tests with a lifetime deal, I think it's definitely worth getting. Even if it's close to these numbers, then it's still worth because it's a lifetime deal. Now for the $39, you're going to get one single website. All right. And you'll get all the features available with this, including the Berk WP CDN and all the rest of the features. Now, if you need more sites, jump into plan two, three, and all the way up to eight for 200 websites. If you're a developer, then that might be a good choice for you. Now, as I mentioned before, this plugin is installed, but it's not activated. Now, before I activate it and we run the test, let me show the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. So if you plan to install WordPress sites and install Berk WP, this is a good option because they have affordable shared hosting plans. So if we go to hosting, web hosting, and we go down here, you'll find their plans. Now, I'm going to recommend the business plan, which is the most popular one. And right now it's $3.99 a month, but the price is going to drop even lower with my coupon code. So currently, Hostinger is going to ask you, how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 48 months because you lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, plus you'll be good to go for 48 months. Now, this is the current price for the 48 months, but if you click on have a coupon code and you add my coupon code and apply it, the price is going to drop to $172 with 37 cents. That's for four years. So that's pretty affordable, right? Okay, so back to my site. Remember, here's the plugin. Here's the demo site. This is the site that I'm testing. And these are the scores. This is GT metrics, load time 1.8 seconds. And we have a lot of dead space in the beginning when it doesn't load anything. So the first co content paint is 1.1 seconds, which is super slow. We want to get these in milliseconds. So let's see if Berk WP can accomplish that. Okay. And right now, just to show you the waterfall, everything is loading from the main site, except the fonts, but the rest are loading from the current demo site. Okay. So let's back into performance and on page speed. These are the things that Google is telling us that we need to improve in order to get a better performance score. All right, so let's go ahead and activate this baby. And as I mentioned before, we're going to do this together to find out if it's actually true or not. So let me go ahead, go ahead and add my key. OK, I just got the API key. Let's go ahead and paste it in here and activate it. Here we go. Her queue is now activated for the first time on this website. And it's currently building the cache for this website homepage. So let's find out what we can do with Berk while that is being done. Okay. So first off, we have the optimization mode. Now, something you have to consider with these cache plugins is that if you go more aggressive, it might mess up your site. So it might load differently. Some elements might not load. So you have to test this. Okay. So in this case, we're going to go somewhere in between. We're not going to go aggressive, but we'll go to blaze. All right. And we're also going to get page speed scores from here. So let's wait for that to kick in and cache play pages are in 0% right now. So it's still pending. We need to wait for the home page to be done to run our test. All right. And there's also the brick WP CDN, which is enabled. We do want that. And let's save this. So it triggers the blaze mode. All right. So let's save the changes. Here we go. Now it does have some other features like cache management. Remember, this is supposed to be a non techie plugin, but you do get some settings where it is important that you exclude certain sections of your website in case it messes up. So again, if you go all out aggressive and you see some of the elements not loading or not loading correctly, 
then you need to exclude certain CSS and JS files with this or links. All right. So you need to ignore some of these parameters in order for that to work. Right. Then there's image optimization. So we got WebP conversion, which is great that it's going to do it for us. Do we want to disable WebP images? You don't want to do that because Google PageSpeed does want you to load WP images, WebP images. So do consider that. And a easy load images means it's not going to load unless you scroll to that page, which is always a good idea. So it loads faster and then it's only going to load some of the images if it's if you scroll to that section. OK, script manager. So you can exclude JS and CSS files from here. Preload font faces faces, which is good. Disable emojis, lazy load YouTube videos, JavaScript exclude mode, delay and inline first execution, which is fine and trigger interaction. Everything's good there, right? And license management. So overall, it is super basic in a sense that it doesn't have really advanced features like you would, for example, in WP Rocket. So uh, do consider that. All right. So let's give it some minutes for the homepage to be cached and we'll run the test on remember gt metrics and page speed from google all right so let's give it a few minutes okay here we go so some of the pages have been cached already and i got a result automatically from google page speed score here on the view so mobile score 66 and desktop 100 and some of the pages are still being cached and some of them are partially cached so consider that when you're launching this okay so we are now ready to, to test this so let's go ahead and retest. Remember, let's go ahead and check this again. The performance summary. So 1.9 seconds was the load time. Nothing going on in the beginning, all the way up to 1.1 second. And let's go ahead and retest this one, right? Let's give this a few seconds to finish. And once that's done, we're going to kick in also with page speed score. All right. So mobile view 46%. And the desktop, we got a warning there. So let's see what results we're going to get once it's done. So I don't want to run both of them at the same time because it might mess with the speed, all right? OK, here we go. So we got the first result. Let me go ahead and run this one before we check that out. So let's go ahead and analyze over here. And while that is being done, so we still got a grade A performance. There's a little hiccup here, a little image that has didn't load. So again, that is due to the cache plugin. So we need to find out what is causing it there so we can exclude it. All right. Now, remember the first color for paint was in 1.1 second. Now it's in 404 milliseconds. And remember the page loaded in 1.9 seconds. Now it's loading 888 milliseconds. So that's a great improvement. And over here on the waterfall, we should be seeing this. All right. So not everything is being loaded from the CDN, just some of these. So maybe it's still being kicked in. So we're going to run it again because maybe CDN is going to kick in. So let's go ahead and wait for this one to finish. OK, that's done. Let's retest it over here. And while that is being done, let's check this out. So mobile performance was 44, 46 percent. Now it's 88 percent, which is a, a great improvement. I mean, that's double the improvement of what we had before. And that's just by not doing anything fancy. It's just activating the plugin, right? Uh, accessibility got an 83 percent. Let's see what it's asking us here. So now we got less warnings, but we still have some warnings here that we need to take care of. And for the desktop view, 86%. And these are the warnings. So we're not getting the WebP warning for the images. And again, we are going to retest that again once this one is done. Okay, so that one is done now. Let's analyze here again. And here we go. Let's see the results. Let's see the waterfall. Nope, still not loading all the elements from CDN. So in this case, the elements that are loading from here are CDN. It doesn't let me know if it's an image or a JS file or CSS. Maybe it's bundling some of these files, but it's not loading the SVGs from the CDN system. So what is happening here? So since SVG is a great format, I think it's even better than WebP because if you make a large site, it's going to be even better. And that's why this didn't turn into WebP and that's why PageSpeed is not requesting these to be changed to WebP. So only some of them will be from CDN. So good point there, right? Now this one should be turned into WebP, this PNG image, but it hasn't been turned yet. So we did get a performance improvement. So it's loading way faster than what we had before, remember? So it's loading half the time it was loading before with this plugin. So overall, I think it's a good option to grab. So 82% again and desktop. Now it did raise to 99%. So that means some of the CDN now kicked in in the desktop view. 
So CDN works once it's loaded by the pop sensors, it then feeds it from the pop sensors. That's why you need to retest it. So it loads it from there and not the uh, main page again. So the idea is using CDN. So now that we have CDN on use right here, it's working way better just by installing the plugin. Nothing fancy was done. I just changed it to Blaze. But again, run your test with basic, medium, and aggressive. Maybe aggressive is going to be even way better, but it might mess around with your site. So you have to do consider that, all right? And in BirdQ, we have some basic analytics here. Let me see what we got in dashboard. So Web Vital Analytics. So not much going on here. I think we have to wait for that to kick in. But I mean, that's included in this plugin. I definitely think it's worth it in a lifetime deal. So you're getting a plugin that's turning your images into WebP, which is fantastic. You're getting the CDN included in this, and you're getting the other features for the caching, the page speed scores, you're getting JavaScript optimization, font optimization. Now, I would still recommend that if your site is super important, I mean, that's like your main line of income, etc. I would still go with some of the top tiers for the cache plugin. Like, for example, I use WP Rocket. But I mean, for sites that are less important or I don't mind it loading that so fast, then this is a great option. Getting this for a lifetime deal, I think is definitely worth it. Getting the features for the CDN and the cash plugin on a lifetime deal without paying month to month, you got to check it out. So you saw the live test here. You saw how it improved. You decide if it's the right fit for you or not on your website. And if you want to check out this plugin, the link we provided in the description. And if you plan to grab a hosting plan, don't forget to use my coupon code on Hostinger. And that's a wrap.